Hi there, and welcome to the short talk about GeoInfo, a geographic data repository for agricultural sciences. My name is Deborah Drucker, and I am an analyst at Embrapa Agricultural Informatics, one of the 43 research centers of the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation. I am talking of, on behalf of GeoInfo's steering committee, which is composed by my colleagues, whose names are listed here. The Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation is a network public company composed by research centers distributed throughout the country. Embrapa's mission is to provide research, development, development and innovation solutions for the sustainability of agriculture and for the benefit of society. GeoInfo is an institutional and thematic repository that accommodates geographic data and metadata produced by Embrapa. It can be freely assessed at embrapa.br slash GeoInfo. GeoInfo is a button-up initiative led by IT specialists, geographers, agricultural science professionals, information managers, including librarians, which started in 2011 and developed into an institutional repository to manage, organize, document, preserve, and share trustable geographic data generated by Embrapa and partners. The Spatial Data Infrastructure, SDI, was framed in five components, technology, standards, institutional framework, data, and people, which I will cover at the next slides. The technology is based on a free and open source software platform, and it was established in order, in order to promote efficient data management in accordance with current Brazilian policy impl implementation guidelines and an, uh, aligned with the internationally widely adopted standards recommended by OGC, the Open Geospatial, Geospatial Consortium. This includes metadata standards implemented in a user-friendly interface. Knowledge representation in a controlled vocabulary is also a component of the standards pillar. Considering the institutional framework pillar, a set of steps for data publication was collectively established. Data producers are encouraged to publish and are re rewarded by doing so. The fourth pillar is the core, which is the people. We conduct continuously capacity building efforts in person and online, and community engagement is key for the sustainability of GeoInfo. As such, we contribute to the cultural shift and raise awareness of the value of the data products. Also, we keep our guidelines are all supporting material up to date at the intranet and offer channels for forums and discussions. The last but not least pillar is the data itself. Today we accommodate more than 1600 highly curated data sets at our repository which encompasses a multitude of themes relevant for agriculture, ranging from soil maps and soil attributes to land user and cover, irrigation maps, climate risk zoning, priority areas for payment for ecosystem services, among several others. We also monitor the analytics and the public's feedback. Our metadata is harvested at the Brazilian Special Data Infrastructures and is posed to a wider audience. The steps taken to build GeoInfo repositories contribute to raise awareness and improve the maturity of geographic data management within Embrapa. Beyond the boundaries of Embrapa, it's expected that GeoInfo might inspire similar initiatives from other organizations. Challenges being tackled currently are the assuring that the FAIR principles are properly followed. Thank you very much for your attention.